production of this opera is quite unusual. You have this scenario straight away where the central character doesn't sing or speak at all. He's a silent presence, but a very visible, very much part, the focus of attention right way through. Playing the role of Matthew, uh, he's one of the two male characters who it transpires is the same person in two different places in time. Well, that's my understanding of it anyway. Hannah is a journalist. She's a friend of Amy, played by Sharon Carty, who is the wife of the second violinist. Amy is someone who is maybe not fully aware of the depths, shall we say, of her husband. Um, and quite a lot of the spotlight on her role in the opera is to do with that. Something has started up between Amy and Hannah. They're in a bit of a, a relationship, and it throws quite a spanner in the works. Aaron, who plays Martin, who's the real name of the, uh, of the man, is slowly remembering over the course of the opera an evening that turns slightly sour. Being the first person to sing uh, an operatic role is one of the most exciting things I think an opera singer can have. The first kind of read of the libretto, arriving in the rehearsal room and discussing Enda's concept with him and how he came up with it and what inspired it. Honestly and truly, it's one of the most exciting projects I have ever been involved in. The thing I love about Donoghue's music the most is that it never appears that it's trying to be too clever or intellectual as a piece of music. It, it stands as its, as its own voice. You are completely free to find something new and to delve into the music and discuss it with the composer, discuss it with our amazing conductor, Ryan McAdams. You know, he, he brings so much to it and is so facilitative. You begin to get involved with the characters. You care about them. You want to know what happens. You, you fear for them. You're involved in their lives. You get more and more sucked into this vortex of, of a really heightened experience. There's an incredible guttural emotional reaction to the, the world that both Enda and Donica have created. It's an exceptional piece of theatre. I wouldn't even just categorise it as opera. It's such a fusion piece. So to be involved is, is an absolute pleasure. I mean, it's an onslaught, a 70 minute. I mean, it, the pace of the thing is, I've never done anything so dynamic. I expect people to be sort of breathless by the end. It's, it'll be unexpected, I think, whether you've never been to the opera before or you have.